nominees for Best Performance by an Actress in the television series Drama are Joan Collins, Dynasty. Pine Daly, Cagney and Lacey. Linda Evans, Dynasty. Sharon Gless, Cagney and Lacey. Angela Lansbury, Murder, She Wrote. And the winner is... Oh, oh stuff. <laughs> Certainly. It's my uh, dinner ticket. No, you get your car. And the winner is Sharon Glass. Uh, so this is what it feels like. My partner, Tyne Daly, Barney Rosenzweig. Uh, these are all the people I should apologize to for having originally turned down Cagney and Lacey. <laughs> Uh, that's Sharon Glass winning a Golden Globe for her work on the hit cop drama Cagney and Lacey. She's still doing entertaining and barrier-breaking work, and she's written a book about that and sharing her life story in her autobiography. Apparently, there were complaints. Sharon Glass joins us live. Good morning, Sharon. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Good morning. Is it, I haven't how, seen that piece of film in forever. <laughs> we do the deep dive yeah. here, right? We sure do. So, you know, I know you won... Emmys for your role, and so did Tyne Daly. You guys are still tight, right? Was there ever a real rivalry there? We're, no, it, everybody wanted to sort of yeah. make it appear as though we fought like cats because they didn't believe women could uh, function together, you know, sharing a lead. Um, Tyne and I never had a fight. Never. Huh. And today, today she's one of my very best friends. We talk every day on the phone. Isn't huh. that something? Talk, talk about at that point in time, uh, somebody saying, hey, let's do a cop show, but get this, crazy, they'll both be women. It's nuts. What was it I like to, to be on the forefront of something, a show like that? And, and the idea came from a man. <laughs> and I that was your, was that your husband? Well, he became my husband. Yeah. Ten years I couldn't stand him when I met him. <laughs> <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah, the idea actually came from a man. It was it it was um, a very it was groundbreaking at the time. There'd never been two women starring in a drama before. It had always been amusing, Lucy and Ethel or Laverne right. and Shirley, who did obviously gorgeous jobs. But um, by the time we were finished, it was so controversial. We'd been thrown off the air three times. Why? Wow. Um, I asked Tyne that once, and she said, I said, who's the enemy here? She said, fear. Mm. Fear of hmm. two strong women carrying a series. Um, it changed the history of television for women. I'm very proud of that. And um, it was a six, six wonderful, long, arduous years. Um, Tyne's mother had a great expression. You asked if we're still close. I paraphrase uh, Tyne's mom. She said, sweat makes a great cement. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. and, and Tyne Daly and I uh, sweat together for six years <laughs> against all odds. Wow. And, well, and despite that, what was it, 30 million viewers a week? I mean, hmm. those numbers, I mean, I know it's all relative today, but shows don't get numbers like that, even back then. No, no, it was, we were dealing with, uh, with, with, with it, it, abortion, um, a, a sexual abuse in the workplace, which had not been handled in those days. Um, a date rape, um, alcoholism, mm -hmm. um, um, a, a cancer, a breast cancer, where women had never been introduced to the idea of a lobectomy. They didn't know it existed. Yeah. They thought yeah. breasts had to just be cut off. So, so you break all this gr ground, and yet at the top of the segment, we said you turned it down three times. Did you not see that? Did you have some fear yourself? Well, uh, Barney Rosenzweig said, sometimes actors are not always the best judges of material. <laughs> <laughs> I'd already played a cop once in a uh, pilot. It didn't sell. And I just didn't want to go around packing a rod, you know, so I turned it down. And, and um, he offered it to me again <clears throat> when it went to series. And I turned it down again for various reasons. Um, and then the third time, I finally got smart. Hmm. Well, you talk, touch about a lot in this book over the years, talk about being a contract player at Universal Studios, battling alcoholism yourself as it mirrored in the TV series. What else will people learn in this book about you? To, about you? 
Um, gosh, I'm, I'm shy. Uh, I, every chapter I tell the truth. There's not one falsehood in it. Um, I talk about my battle with weight. I talk about the complaints that people have had about me over the years, you know, it, it, and believe me, I filled the big book. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all could. There were lots of them starting from, starting from my, my childhood. People and, complained and about you. I beg your pardon? Family members complained about you, you mean? Oh, yes. Yes, my grandmother was formidable. Mm. Formidable. And she, um, she finally put me on a diet. It, she was just ashamed of what I looked like. Huh. And um, I was to become, a, this is such another era, but it was in the years of debutantes. Yeah. And my grandmother, I was being presented, and she uh, locked me up. <gasps> oh for four months and took over 40 pounds off of me. And she did it by using a metronome, had me chew to a metronome and use chopsticks. Oh my Lord. I mean, it's like you, you say it with the kind of a, a hint of a smile now, but that had that, what does that do to you, Sharon? Um, I, I, did, I know this is a little perverse, but I loved the effort. I love the effort she made. It meant so much to her that I look attractive that evening. Huh. Um, and I think it, I think she believed it would mean a lot to me. At the time, I didn't think so. At the time, I just felt criticized. Wow. Um, but there's a little moment I write in the book where I go and break into a party I'm not supposed to that night of the ball and ask to see her. And um, she comes to the door. She'd never seen me in my dress and all, the, all that she'd gone through. And I wanted to honor her by letting her be the first one to see me. Wow. In a dress that had been taken in by inches and inches and inches and inches. Well, you're it's feeling- a very, It was a touching moment for me to write it. Wow. I can only imagine, uh, it must have been an emotional experience writing this book and there's gotta be more in there. We so appreciate you joining Thank us. Thank you. Once again, I love your city. Well, we come, come back any time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll hope to see you next time you're in town. Take care, Sharon. The book is Thank called you very much. Apparently there were complaints.